no bells and whistles today, just straight off the phone. All right, it looks like it's coming up. Hmm. Let's see if we can get the chats coming through. Get the chats, uh, is that now? Is that now? 6.52, no it's not, that was earlier. You're a bit crackly in sand, Brian. Crackly? What was going on with the sand then? Oh, well, let me know, innit? Let, let, let me know if this is, um, if this is coming through or not. I'm up earlier today, I've been up since five. There can't be anyone up. I wouldn't have thought anyone had been up. It's just a random one. Uh, chat. Mm, chat overlay. What's a chat overlay? Oh. Oh! Facebook personal. What we got here? This is the... Oh, right. What we got? What we got? What we got? 707. Yes, Charlie B. Neil McDonald. Emma Bingham. Mandy Red. Rural Sand System. Hello, how's it going? Brian, were you aware that E17 apparently doing Rumford Christmas light switch on? Don't they do it every year? Well, that should be good, shouldn't it? Can't wait for that. Looking fresh! Yeah, I'm fucking up, man. Five o'clock in the morning. Don't ask me why. Shalom. La Touriste Viva. Yes, how's it going? Make them crash it. Yeah, man. Early morning, early riser a day. Good to see you too. Good to see you too. Um, good morning. Good morning. Oh, hell's bells, Helen. Crazy dog lady. Free bird. Okay. Yeah, nothing to tell you really. Same old shit. I won't bother. But, um, yeah. Just thought I'd see if anyone was about. I'm just sitting there drinking a coffee. Good morning, Nikki. Can you see us there? It's me and you, ladies. Yeah. Yeah, so I did go to bed early, yeah. Nikki was up at five today. And um, I could hear her. So I thought, fuck it, I'll get up. I need no shit anyway. I was just watching one of our old broadcasts when we was getting pizzas delivered. I still had Bully at the time, and Nikki still had Midgey on that video. Fucking hell. It's mad, isn't it? How are you anyway? How are you all? How many people we got in there? I can't fucking tell. How many we got in the room? Uh, let's have a look on Just Be, Just Be, Just Be. Oh. Oh. Hang on. That's not right, is it? I'm live. They've changed the top bar now, haven't they? Here we go. There we go. Top chat. There's the chat. That's what I want to see. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. 30 people. That's not bad for this time in the morning. So what's happening? Anyone got anything? Anything good to say? Good morning. Back into obscurity. I just thought I'd come and burn one with you. I'm not about for long. It's just I'd been on for a little while, so I thought I'd better just come on and say hello. Hello. Yeah. All good, now you're back. Thank you. Yeah, we are coming back. And uh, I just want to give a big shout out to Fergal Grace. You know why. You know what you did. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And also to Mel Clayson. Thank you so much. It was good to talk to you the other night as well. I know you was a little bit leg boat, but um, even so, it was still all right. You could tell that you still know what you was going on about. And uh, yeah, you know, you're, uh, you're, you're perfectly entitled to get pissed. Uh. So yeah, it was good to talk to you the other night. And uh, yeah, man, I've just been, uh, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, just uh, just been chilling really, doing a bit of recording, and uh, we've got to do a bit later on today actually. 
got a couple of people coming round. Lee's coming round later. Um, yeah. Just, uh, just bored, really. Just bored. I ain't got any trolls at the minute. Can I have some trolls back, please? It's boring without you. What do you think about Philip Schofield? Looks like he could be next nonce on the block. Well, I think you already know what I think about that situation. You know what I mean? I even put a video up recently where he was at. He was having dinner with a boy. Why are you out having dinner with a boy? Why are you doing that? It's not your son. He was uh, having dinner with some boy and some geezer had just hit, I don't know, four, five hundred subscribers, or a thousand subscribers on his thing, and he went, yeah, I can't remember how many subscribers. It might have been one million subscribers. And he pops a thing, and then you see Schofield turn around, and he's sitting opposite a little boy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Taking little boys out for dinner. Yeah, so that, that's, that's what I think. Thank you, Lorraine Wood. Thank you very much. Thank you. So do you. Danny Jones, you sure you need trolls? Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. How you doing, Mr. Danny Jones? You all right? No, I'm, I'm happy to keep things peaceful. I'm happy to keep things peaceful. Because the, uh, the arguing don't really get you anywhere, does it? You know what I mean? We need some uh, constructive conversation going on, don't we, really? There's a lot going on in the world. And uh, I'm okay, still living the dream, yeah. Never liked him. He acts too sweaty for me. Funny as fuck. Yeah, a few things gone on, isn't there? The, um, I'll tell you something that... that I'm going to have to turn this off. I can't fucking concentrate. Um, Aaron Carter. Dead. Found in a bath. That's a weird one, isn't it? You know, that's like, I reckon someone's killed him because I'll tell you a little story here. I know someone very well, very well, who'd been seeing one of the Backstreet Boys for a very long time. And that person told me because they'd seen Nick Carter and Aaron Carter throughout the years, right? And um, <clears throat> the first thing that was said to me about Aaron Carter and Nick Carter, and this person knows them, and I know that to be true, looked at me, he said, rag that. Who by? The manager. So this um, music record company managers raping band members um, isn't only exclusive to my band. Oh no, oh no. There's got to be at least one in every successful band, yeah? There's got, to be, there's got to be one person in that band who took it to get the rest of the band through, or even a couple, you know, in every band. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I've got to be one of the only fucking people that has been out there, been in the music industry, and not been fucked up the arse, yeah? No one got to me. Now, I'll speak to Nicky Cooper about this, and it's like, how comes? I think if they was going to get me, they would have got me on the holiday that everyone was supposed to go on at the end of the first tour. Everyone went to, uh, guess where? Only Honolulu, Hawaii, because someone had a house there. Didn't you, Tom? That's where you're watching me from now live, isn't it, Tom? Yeah. He's not dead. Fuck off, you ain't dead. You ain't dead. You just know that there is going to be an explosion within the music industry about all these different types of cases. And what a lot of these artists that you know and love have been through. You think it ain't happened to anyone in Take That? I can fucking guarantee you that it has. I couldn't tell you which one it was. But I've got a rough fucking idea. And uh, someone definitely got batted up the arse in that group. Who's done the best? That's where you got to look. That's where you got to look. That's where you got to look. Uh, come on, spit it. 
I'm not going to spill my coffee for you. No. Mm. So getting back to the Nick Carter thing there. Aaron Carter, sorry. Um, yeah. Found dead. In a bath. And um, I was watching his last live stream. I wasn't someone that, that watched him. Obviously, I know of him. I remember when he came out in the 90s. I remember watching a documentary that one of NSYNC done. I think Lance out of NSYNC. I think I got that right. Um, he done a very good expose on their ex-manager. And uh, what a cunt the geezer was. Another big fat cunt, yeah? Another big fat cunt. And uh, just knew, man, how to, how to wangle the money and that. And there was a bit where... You know what I mean? All the Backstreet Boys. Was it NSYNC? No, NSYNC. They had the same management. Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. Same management. Big fat fucking sloth cunt he is. And um, they was having a conversation around the table. And I think they had like their parents there and that. And they were sitting there saying they was waiting to get this check. And it's going to be a substantial amount of money. And it was fuck all. Um, so it, it it goes on. It goes on in, in every group. Every group is going to have a, a story. 100%, but, um, I mean, the guy was only young, man, and he's, you know, he's dead. He's dead. And we keep seeing this. How many more celebrities have got to keep dying like this under weird circumstances? And then we just take the national media's story as gospel, and then everyone gets on with it. Darius. Darius Dinesh. What the fuck happened now? You know, it's when they fuck off. And they go to America. That's why I didn't go. That's why I didn't fucking go. I just thought, no, I ain't comfortable with this. I ain't going. I don't want to sign the death row records. Why the fuck would I want to sign the death row records for? You know? I'd be owned by Snoop now. Fuck knows what would be happening to me. You know what I mean? Fuck knows. Um, it seems to be when they go to America. So I would say... Um, shout out to uh, Zayn Malik... Watch yourself out there, mate. You know what I mean? And I, I, I mean that in a nice way. I'm, I do. I mean that in a nice way. Just, um, you know, he, he, he must be right in the thick of it now, mustn't he? You know, been out there a while. They've laid on the girlfriends and stuff. You know what I mean? Them, that Hadid bird. And, um, you know, up your profile, get you about. But it seems like once they get you over there on your own in America, you're getting bummed. You're getting bummed, it's getting filmed, and they're going to bring that out if you don't play ball. It's true, man. It's true. It's true. The boy band con, that's the one. The Lou Pearlman story, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Hells Bells. Yeah. Thanks, Sarah. Nothing! <clears throat> Sorry about that. What's your take on Tom McDonald music? Who the fuck's Tom McDonald? Who's Tom McDonald, Danny? I've never even heard of this geezer. Is he someone in the fucking charts now or something? Who's Tom McDonald? Who is he? I don't know who Tom McDonald is, Danny. What's your take on Tom McDonald music? Maybe I'll, I'll Google it in a minute and we'll find out. Someone who they are after, but like you, he talks truth. Oh, okay. Okay. So what's everyone's take on the, uh, I think Tom McDonald is a plant, he's too produced. Ah, okay. Uh, he, is a, he is a new, very controversial singer, writer. He allows all to play his music. All right. I'll have to have a look. I've, I've not, I've, I've seriously, I've never heard of him. But I will have a look. So he's a bit controversial, a bit outspoken and that, yeah? And someone who's, who, who's current at the minute. All right, I'll have a look at that. Do you like my cup? Do you like that? <laughs> White Boy, really good track. 
All right, I'm gonna check that out. Yes, DJ Aki. Big up yourself, mate. Big up yourself. Thanks for tuning in, man. Thanks for tuning in. He's a shitty rapper, though. Ah. Ah, well. Ah, well. Kind of it all, can you? I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Yes, Dad on Wheels. Yes, mate. How's it going? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I've just been having a break from it. Um, uh... There's a couple of things I want to tell you, but come on, come on, come on, I'm not allowed. Someone done something really nice for me, man. A couple of people done something really fucking nice for me. And uh, I want to show you. I want to show you. I'll show, I'll give you a clue, all right? Let me show you around my Freemasonic Freemason MI5 house. Would you like that? I'll show you. I'll show you. All right, so... Uh, Here's my Freemason house, yeah? So apparently I'm a fucking Freemason. And MI5. I don't know how I've managed to work that into E17 and then being a boy before that. I don't know how I've done it, but I've done it. So, uh... Let's see, yeah. Uh, old birthday card there. Lovely stuff. All right, yeah, so, um... I suppose, really, what... What I'm, uh, trying to show you is, uh... Is, uh, is that really? Yeah. Victims come forward. Victims come forward. It won't be long until we start doing some proper interviews. Yeah? And start getting some real fucking truth out there. Look at that bastard lens on there. Look at that. Yeah? We've got another one over here. There. Teleprompter. Yeah, if I, if I come across really good one of these upcoming days, and it's like, he's got his fucking shit together, he's really clear today, it's because I'd be bloody using that, you see. So, uh, all right, let's give you a tour. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give you a tour of my Freemason abode, all right? So here's the view from, from that end of the room, yeah? All right, is there anything Freemasonic there? Can you see anything there? Oh, is that an apron up there? That's where that geezer left there. Remember that geezer knocked on my door, left loads of weed, tried to give me a fucking parrot? He left that here. That's a, that's a table mat off the Queen's dinner in Café de Paris in the 50s. 69? No, when was it? Fuck knows, I don't know. Old. It's, uh... And it got put in a wash. I couldn't believe it. It was in this glass case, all cracked and smashed. And, uh... Fucking ended up in the wash because I took it off of here, folded it up, put it on the top of some clothes, and it got fucking washed. And uh, that was quite interesting. Jeremy Payne was the commander in Brighton. Wasn't Matt Taylor, old Bill there? Wonder if he knows Jeremy Payne. I just thought I'd make a note of that. So uh, here's my front room at the minute. Obviously, when they've done the kitchen, I'm going to decorate, yeah? I'm going to keep all this brick. I'm going to keep that because I like it. And I'm just going to whitewash again with the sprayers. And uh, here's my uh, heater on the wall here that hardly bloody works. Yeah, it, it's just all glow, really. It does fuck all. Um, so, yeah, this, this, this is where me and Lee are normally... We're normally sat about there somewhere. So, uh, how's it looking so far? Very Freemason, isn't it? Oh, look at the brick. That reminds me of a, uh, ooh, a fucking temple. Um, here's a telly. There's a cupboard full of crap. There's some washing down there, if you want to do that. I don't know if you fancy that. Bag of washing there. All greys and that, tracksuits. Dog bed, very Masonic. I mean, you know, if I didn't know better, I'd say that was an, M an MI5 dog bed. And that one. Look at that one. And uh, I do really well as a Freemason. I, you know, I've, I've got so much money that I don't bother carpeting my stairs or the upstairs. Because, um, you know, what's the point? What's the point, really? A Freemasonic curtain over the door there. And, and what's that? My God. 
What is that? Has that got red and has that got red, black and white on it? Uh, sure, that must be Masonic. So uh, there's my Masonic stairs. Put in by MI5. You know, done a fucking good job. You <laughs> know, I nicked the carpet samples that the geezer bought around a few years ago. Fucking kept doing me socks, man. So I've fucking done that. So yeah, as you can see, I'm a fucking rich man. David Icke done a video like this once, didn't he? I'm uh, going to take you around my mansion, uh, Sean. And uh, here it is. It's a block of flats. Right, so... To the kitchen. Now, this is what I've been having to put up with. Right? It's getting sorted now. I spoke to a couple of nice people at Clarion Housing. And uh, a nice guy called Jim came round. Whose daughter watches the channel, by the way. Hello. How are you all? I gave you a hat. I hope you've got it on. Um, so, yeah. Here's the state of my fucking kitchen. I'm such a mason. Look at my fucking kitchen. I've had to kick all that out. All right? I had to kick that out and dry it. Yeah? Because all that is coming out. And there was fucking mass shit under there. To die for. Uh, let me get rid of. Took the oven out. Look, I took it all out. The amount of shit that was down there was fucking unbelievable. Not good. Elf hazard. Dirty little bastard. Coming in through. And then look at the bottom. That's good. That's to come out because all that is been filled. These fuckers ain't coming in. There's the oven. There's a hot plate. There's an air fryer. And uh, it's just a fucking shambles, mate, because all this has got to come out. Hey, look. I've got a... Uh, I've got a leak. I think I need leak detection uh, in Paddock. Get on it. Yeah, what's happened? Where I fucking kicked all this, right? I've loosened the waste bit. So I put a new fucking trap on, but I've loosened the waste. So I've got a new waste bit coming. But this is all coming out anyway. So there's my Freemasonic fucked up kitchen um, that I'm surviving in at the minute. There's my fridge, believe it or not. That is my fucking fridge. That little thing now. And uh, it fucking stinks under there. That's why we've got our candle melts and uh, all fucking sorts of shit about in there. But um, yeah. That's all coming out. That will be a brand new room soon. Replastered. Kitchen sorted. And uh, here's my worktop that I bought fucking five years ago. Still going down there. And the other bit I'm going to use is here. I've got my bloody equipment on it. Yeah? And uh, that table will get swapped for that table. I can keep that one. I can keep that bit. Uh, yeah, I put red legs on it. And uh, that long bit there is going to go back in the kitchen. So that is my Freemasonic house. I'll take you upstairs. Look at that, look. Fucking well expensive. Well expensive. You know how much it cost me to get that fucking floor looking like that? There's a bird cage for when Jasper feels like it. There's some backdrop poles that I haven't put away. Right, here's a bathroom. Yeah, look. You think Freemasonic going on there? And, uh, yeah. It's my, that's Nikki's by the way, it's not mine. It's, uh, it's my Freemasonic house. All right, I'm running out of battery. We need to get back to a charger. So I'll just take you to the, uh, look at the floor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like a bit like that, really. More of the same. But the bedroom, I've got carpet in my bedroom. There's, uh, here's a green room. It's all green. Yeah. There's a green screen suit. There's a, uh, Freddy jumper. And uh, this is for the shows later on. Back to the 90s. Sports Almanac. Original 
Shah Safari, proper class 10 puffer. Oh yeah, there's we've got a stay another day out for over there and uh, over here we're going uh, back to the 90s. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then uh, here we've got the uh, the trainers that I sprayed that Andrew Guyan said I didn't spray and I did. You can see that they've been painted, look. If you got them from the shop and they had that on them down there like that, you'd be very upset, wouldn't you? Yeah? Yeah, I fucking painted those. Yeah, look. And then Nicky's mum sewed them on for me. Yeah? All right? Enjoyed being nosy, yeah? Yeah? You enjoy that? All right? And, uh... Here's a uh, quick look at my bed. There's another fire, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Looks good though. So I just, I just make, it makes it look warm. Really, it just looks warm. And uh, there's a telly on the wall. There's a uh, computer. And uh, we just got stuff everywhere, man. You know. So there's my Masonic bed. Okay. There's my. Masonic picture with my girlfriend. And there's my... There's my... Masonic... Boots for the lovely show that I'm going to uh, put on for you. Okay, now. What? No, is that where he sleeps? Is that where he sleeps? That's my fucking sleep. Yeah, ain't made me bed. Uh, green room. That's about it, really. More crap down there. Look, cut the quilts. All this shit's got to go. Right, it's... I'm on it now, I'm on it. All this has got to be painted, all this has got to be sprayed. What's the point at the minute? Let them do the kitchen first, and then I'll fucking do the rest of it. So that's been my Masonic house. My rich Masonic house that I bought with my... Millions and millions of pounds that I get from MI5 and the Masonic Lodge of uh, wherever. So, yeah, that, there, there's my Masonic house, okay? Okay, nice there, Max Brian. Thank you. Thank you. Obviously, I can only see your comments now. <coughs> Oh, I'm for you, boy, in my five dog bed. Yeah, so, uh, so people that think I'm hiding millions and millions of pounds and he's he just got endless pots of money, there you go. You've seen my entire house. Okay. Mmm. Red KRKs. Nikki got them for me. She, uh, what's the guy's name? Got to big him up again. If you watch your mate, oh, fucking, I'm looking over there. If you watch your mate, thank you for them. Um, wicked price, and uh, they work perfect, and they look lovely. I love them. Thank you very much. Oh uh, yeah, always have nice trainers. Yeah, I'm, uh, them them Nike trainers are for the show. So um, when I pull my finger out, just you know, we got more equipment to get. It's just. Uh, I don't know, it's fucking hard doing it on your own. You know, I've had I've had a good bit of help from a couple of people. Um, me and Nikki have constantly just been selling stuff on eBay. Oh, what can we get rid of? Get rid of that, sell that, fucking move that around, buy that. No, we didn't want that, sell that, get that. And uh, we're finally getting to a, um, a place where we're going to be able to do good things soon. We really are. I do want to do some interviews though, you know, like, I know we have a laugh and a joke, but we do actually need to get back to evidence and interviews and keeping the pressure on Puddick and uh, Bill Maloney, Andrew Ash and all these people. Come on, man, look, that, that, that went in the fucking paper. They were stitching me up, right? It's all backfired. They've all been caught out. So we must not ever forget that. We can have a laugh and a joke and that, but I'm, I'm serious, man. These people... And it's still going on. I mean, look at that thing with Prince Charles, man. What the fuck is Prince Charles doing in Walthamstow 
randomly on a walkabout. Like, tell me, please. Someone, please tell me. Sean Atwood, our interviews are meant to be done. Yeah. When all you got to do is sit there and be fucking real. You know what I mean? Ask real questions. He's just like... Eh. And the geezer that he does the, 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 the Atwood Unleashed with is just... I'm sorry, but he's quite fucking annoying. He's quite annoying. Can't find Andrew Ashcroft anywhere. He seems to have disappeared. No, Andrew Ashworth. But, to be fair, who told me that his last name was Andrew Ashworth? Bill Maloney and Maria. So, it's probably not any of their fucking names. None of them are probably called, you know, he's probably, I bet his real name ain't Bill Maloney. I bet John Wedger's not John Wedger. Ian Puddick, possibly, possibly, you know, he's so up himself that he probably won't be, oh, people know my real name. He just tells lies, he just tells lies. <laughs> Fuck, you know. Ashworth, yeah. That's if it is that, Danny. I don't know if, the, if that is really his fucking name or not. You know, I think these are the people that are MI5. Um, and I, I, I just really would like to know what the fuck they were playing at when they did that. I mean, you know, I think I know. I think I know. The only reason that they would send in people that big to destroy me, all I had to do was go back over the Andrew Ash interviews, right? And especially the one that was in front of James Fielding that was done for the Express. Because whatever was coming out in that one was obviously going to be the most convincing information for me because it's being done as an interview that I'm getting to film. And obviously that going in the newspaper after that was going to totally convince me, fuck, you know, what have we got here? And, and off the back of that, they thought, you know, I was either going to go and try and sell the footage or... I took it to the police, man. I've got the police to come round. But then, here's the thing. I, I don't even know if these people that they've been sending round the police. Nicky Cooper doesn't seem to think so. But then that means that every time I make a fucking phone call, I know it's not impossible to do, but they must divert me. So I was to ring 101. I keep getting told, why don't you ring 101? If I ring 101, I think my house diverts and goes to somewhere else where I think I'm talking to 101, but I actually ain't. Because when I report this to an inspector, they have to move on it. And to date, I haven't been able to talk to a real inspector. They keep sending me actors. And it was Daniela that bought them round, first of all. I mean, they made it convincing. There was a fucking helicopter and everything. So they know what they're doing, these people. But until someone points out the fact, well, look, this won't work, Brian, that won't work. How did they do that? Where, where was the warrant to sign out all of the stuff? And I know they didn't have a warrant when they took me from the front door on the last arrest. Um, so are they real? If they're not real police, they have to be NCA, right? Because they are getting to use real police stations or Laden custody suite, as they called it, and police cells. They're, they're getting to use these things. They take your computers. Where where did you have my computers for a for a year? You know where where did you where did you put your phone on charge? It's what it's low. No, it is on charge. It is on charge now. So yeah, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's the Masonic police coming to me. Yeah, I, I like the little move that they're trying to do recently, though. It's like, talk him up like he's a fucking mason, he's this and all that. It's like complete reverse psychology mind games that these people are trying to play. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous. I've been out in front of you all my fucking life. My sink is all out. Oh! Oh, dear. Let me see if I can do something with that. It might come back in a minute. It might come back. Right, let me just see. Uh, yeah, I'm probably streaming too high. Here. I've got it on fucking 10,000. Let me put it on 5,000 kilobits per second and see if that picks up. Good morning, Nicky Jackson. 
Uh, it might... It might fix up in a minute. I've just turned the bit rate down. I had the bit rate on fucking 10,000. So, uh, that's because I'm plugged into the router, but I'll try and take the piss with it. Do you know what? I mean, we need to turn that other light off. Got 88 watching. Hello, 88 lovely people. Right, sink is back now, yeah? All right, good, 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 good stuff. Good. Yeah, I was probably too high with the bit right there. Good morning, Lorraine Bryce. Yeah, I've been mean, I've been wanting to come on, but you know, like, we're, we're doing these lives and that. If you're not if you ain't really got anything queued up to talk about, you know what I mean? You end up fucking sitting here doing this while I'm doing that. But I, uh, I like doing this. I like sitting here reading your comments. It sinks out again. Oh, fuck's sake. Right, it's because I'm doing wireless phone shit. Um, all right, give me two seconds and I'll come.